Hi and welcome back to my little film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. I'm going to look at uh, a romantic drama. Uh, that's what I'm into, a romantic drama. I don't mind a nice romantic drama, although it's uh, sort of teenagers. But uh, yeah, I can I can put my young head on, can't I? I'm going to look at something called The Summer I Turn Pretty. Oh, I remember it well. Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. Seven episodes times 45 minutes. A coming-of-age romantic drama television series. It was on uh, Amazon. Amazon Prime video from June the 17th, so I'm recording this on the 6th of July 2022, and it's based on the novel of the same name by a certain Jenny Han, so if you like that book, I think you might like this. Ahead of the premiere, the series was renewed for a second season, yes, yeah, so you've got to get more of the same. On an annual summer vacation to their family friend's beach house, Belle, Belly, 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 funny name, Belly reunites with her friends, brothers Jeremiah and Conrad, and finds herself caught in a love triangle. I'm not too sure about that Belly, actually. Is that, I think that doesn't, doesn't sound, yeah, it's Belly, but that's like a nickname, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. I've only watched seven episodes, I can't remember everything. Uh, yeah, so what are the people, what are the public thinking? Rotten Tomatoes audience like it, positivity, 85%. It's not too shabby. Internet movie database, 7.6 out of 10. <laughs> Excellent score based on 8,342. There are 2,707 10 out of 10s, which are a little bit over the top, in all fairness. Uh, a sprinkling of 1 out of 10s, but not too many. But if you take them out, ignore those, because they can't be correct. You're left with 4,840 scored it between 6 and 9, and just 521 scored it between 2 and 5, so a 90% positivity so a bit more than rotten tomato so we can't be arguing it's got to be half decent hasn't it this stars lola tongue jackie chung rachel blanchard christopher briney so much to do with the sea that isn't it gavin castellagno strong kaufman alfredo narciso mini mills colin ferguson and tom everett scott eh? oh, that's the name i familiar with i mean a lot of the people in this have it's a bit too young for me guys i've uh, i don't didn't recognize many of the faces what tomatoes chrissy so what did they say 90% approval rating, so that's positivity. Average rating of 6.9 out of 10, still very, very good based on 20 critics. And their consensus, the summer I turned pretty doesn't need more time to become a swan. Coming out of the gate, a solidly charming and sweet rom-com with appeal across generations. Yeah, I'd have to back that up. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously the two generations along, guards are from, from who it's aimed at, I suppose, but I, I found it bearable and, and good fun at times. Angie Han, I don't think she's any relationship to, to the writer from The Hollywood Report, although she might be because she's very gushing about it. said, a solid coming of age wrapped in a not-so-good romance. Yeah, well, it's complicated, as we say on the internet, isn't it, in romantic terms? Lauren, Shab Lauren Schwal from the AV Cle <laughs> AV Club said the characters feel lived in with warm chemistries and rich histories that suggest they are well known by their creator. Yeah, I, mean, I have nothing, no idea who these were, and I've sort of invested in most of the characters' early doors. There was a rotten though, Amy Amy Amat Angelo. I think she's in a, she was in a mood. She had a bit of a cob on this day. She's from Pace Magazine. She said the series is striving to capture that feeling of first love. Can I remember it? <laughs> Probably of growing up and finding your own path. There's moody music, hazy photography and characters in slow motion and yet none of it quite works. Yeah, I think that's a bit unfair. I think it does most of the time. I, I think it's a little bit of an unfair critique. Metacritic, the other site we'll look at, 72 out of 100. So again, very, very good, but just six critics, five positive and one mixed. And it scored anywhere between 58 and 91 out of 100. So still very good, even with 58, it's not bad, is it? The playlist, Maria E. Gates, give it 68 and said, while Summer I Turn Pretty doesn't exactly reinvent the breezy teen summer series, it's a bit like an overly sweet icy pop. Ice, icy pop? Sweet ice pop. Icy pop. Not very, we call them ice pops over here. It's obviously a, U, uh, a US thing. Not very nutritious, messy, but fun while it lasts. Yeah, uh, yeah, a bright summer break and just like an ice pop. Quite nice, nice to have just at the moment, but easily forgotten. Collider, from Collider, we've got Abby Kavanagh. 91 out of 100. She loved it, obviously. 
Overall, the summer I turned pretty is a fun summertime watch. The TV equivalent of a, of a beach read, yes. Though not every moment is light and summery, it is a perfect ode to summer and young love. Yeah, it's simple by the numbers. There's some, not, I won't say darkness in it, there's, there's some sort of not so nice stuff in it. But all, all in line with the nice summer summer watch. So just to just to finish off, obviously I've made a few comments there. Uh, I think this is nice. Young people, not too much up themselves. I find a lot of uh, certainly US TV and US teenagers a bit too much for me. Uh, but no, not too bad in this lot. There's a couple. There's a couple that are up themselves, but most of them uh, are okay, and that makes a nice, pleasant change for me. A nice story, nice sets, a nice location. Mainly happy, sometimes sad. Yeah. Not overly sad, just a little bit at times. And it's just a good wholesome, I'd say, a good wholesome watch for someone like me who's knocking on a bit. And I'm sure, as I say, it might not be edgy enough for some younger ones. I'm not too sure. It was just a nice watch. It is it's just a nice watch. It is what it is. It's just a coming of age drama without a real, real edge to it. And I will give it 6.5 out of 10, which is very not as high as some of the others, of course. But, uh, yeah, that, that's a very watchable score from me. I, I did enjoy it. Well, look forward to Series 2, whether it's got any legs past that. I'm not too sure. As I say, I, I just liked it. It was short and sweet. It wasn't too many episodes. weren't too long. So it did for me, 6.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, it would be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please, until we meet again, please stay safe, everyone. Bye for now.